Well, Graham Lanahan is with me now. Um, you wrote a piece in the papers at the weekend. You say you've been vilified mm -hmm. on social media and that you've even lost work as a result of speaking out in this trans debate. Why have you got yourself mired in this? You're not a trans person, you're not a woman. Why have you made this your issue? Uh, well, the main reason is that women can't speak about this. Um, uh, uh, women like... I, I, I'll admit, I'm not a great person to be in this conversation. I'm a comedy writer and I am very blunt. But the thing is, there's a lot of women um, like Kathleen Stock, Jane Claire Jones, uh, academics who, who are very compassionate, um, but they protect their boundaries and the boundaries of, of, of young lesbians and, and, um, uh, and women in general. And they do so in a very respectful, quiet way. But whenever they're asked to speak, uh, there's protests, they get shut down. Um, uh, Kathleen Stock had a freedom of information request about her emails. You know, it, it's insane the abuse and harassment they face. So I thought I'd step in and, you know, I don't have, I don't have a boss as such. Yeah, but, but has, has stepping in made the debate any better? I mean, a lot of people say that the language you've used, some of the dismissive terms that you've bandied about have actually increased the toxicity of this C can debate. Can you give me an example? Yes, you can... You, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll give you several if you want. <laughs> so um, what about comparing people in the trans debate to speaking out against Nazis? I mean, that's pretty extreme. Well... There's a couple of parallels. One is that at the moment, um, children are uh, basically being experimented on with uh, uh, puberty blockers. Uh, for instance... Oh, come on, you're not seriously trying to say that children going to the doctor and saying that they're worried about their gender is akin to children being experimented on in Nazi I, concentration afraid, camps? I'm, I'm afraid I am, because Lupron, which is, which is um, a drug that's supposed to be meant for end-stage cancer treatment, uh, prostate cancer treatment, is being given to okay, young girls. These... It has never been tested on girls. It has never been tested on women. No, that's happening no, to no, young well, women look, at look, there's, a, there's a couple of issues here. One of, one of them is that these are doctors who are doing this and you don't have any medical training to know about this, but the other is that they are doing it by choice. It is deeply offensive mm. to compare this to Nazi concentration camps. Oh, no, no, were... don't get me wrong. I'm not comparing it to Nazi concentration camps. That's... that's, that's... And also... Well, that's, that's, no, that's no. basically what you said, was no, that no, no. experimenting on children mm. is what the Nazis mm. did and what doctors are doing today. Well, um, essentially, if you look at the Tavistock, 35 psychologists have quit the Tavistock in three years. Does that sound... That's, that's one of the centres uh, which deals specifically with um, people yes. who think that they want to um, change their gender. Yes, that's 35 over three years. Do you think that sounds like a healthy environment for children? I've no idea what the reason why people might be leaving are, but I know that children I've being to able other, to come I've, forward I've spoken and to talk other about issues that they feel, uh, it's entirely up to them whether or not they want to do that. Nobody's forcing anybody into No, no, into I'm sorry. Here. You don't tell children that they were born in the wrong body because they're children and they will believe you. That's the important... These are... I've seen kids... Uh, there are reports from the Tavistock that children as young as four were brought in. These are children... You know, children as, as are still believing in Santa when they're ten. You know, it's... It's ridiculous, it's absurd, and it's and what surprises well, first, me... Why do you think... You, you, I mean, what evidence do you have that young children are being told they are born into the wrong body? Just because we're having a debate about self-identification doesn't mean that young children who still believe in Santa are being told that they have to change their gender. That's ridiculous exaggeration. No, 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 that's not... Well, well one of the other things that Tavistock whistleblowers reported was that homophobic parents were bringing in their gender non-conforming kids and telling them to fix them, you know? There was a dark joke that went around the Tavistock where they said that in, in a couple of years there'll be no gay people left, you know? Now, that's why I compare it to eugenics programmes and things like that. It, it, it is extremely serious. It's ex and all I'm asking for, all I'm asking for is that people like me and the women that I support are not attacked, their meetings aren't protested, they aren't abused on Twitter. I've been sued, yeah, okay. I've, been, I've been reported to the police. I know, yeah. My, wife, you... my wife's address has been published online. And all these you, things have happened because I'm television and comparing the, the trans debate less toxic. To, right, talking about eugenics and comparing trans activists to Nazis is yes. not going to make this debate less toxic. What you're doing is fanning the flames. You're throwing trans fuel on this. Trans activists threaten the feminists I support with rape and death threats, OK? So, so the idea that there's an equivalence between these two, I am absolutely happy to step out of this conversation completely once women like uh, Kathleen Stock and Jane Claire Jones are allowed to speak. It might be quite a lot of women think that they can speak for themselves, thank you, and they don't necessarily need Graham well, Lennon to come in and talk for well, us. Well, the women I support uh, are value my support and are glad that I'm amplifying their voices.
and amplifying the toxicity of a debate no, when you come no, in no, here no. and use these this kind of inflammatory toxic. language. These women are not toxic. These women are. I'm not saying they measured. are. I'm saying it's your comparisons tonight that are pretty toxic coming in here and talking about Nazis. If you want to have a reasonable debate about what's going on with gender identity in this country, we can't talk about Nazis the in the thing, same breath. The thing, the thing about the Nazi comment was, was what I was trying to get across was that this is a hinge moment in history, just like, just like during the Nazis. And we always ask ourselves the same questions. We ask ourselves, what would I have done? Would I have bowed down? Would, have, would I have done, done everything I was told to do? Or would, have I, would I have resisted? Would I have stood up and would I have stood up alongside people who were trying to do the right thing? That's what I'm trying to do at the moment. And it's being made very, very difficult. Look, you know, Two years ago, we wrote to Stonewall, way before I compared trans, trans rights activists to Nazis, and we, said, and we said, could we please bring down the toxicity of this conversation? Could we, could we uh, please just look at some of these issues, some of these points where women's rights mm -hmm. conflict with trans rights, and just talk about it? And within the day, Stonewall said no. They said they, absolutely they, not. So they said to us today, we invited them to come on the programme and then said they gave us a statement saying trans, pe trans people in Britain face huge levels of abuse in all areas of their life. They quote statistics uh, showing that hate crimes against trans people have increased 37% in the last year and say they're proud of their work towards trans equality. Yes, but the reason hate crimes have increased is because everything is now transphobic, including saying statements like men aren't women. These are considered transphobic statements. So, so, so the reason that these hate crime figures are going up is because the bar has been set so low for what is and isn't transphobic. There has to be a conversation about this. It is absolutely crucial. Children... Okay. Well, that, that, that's all the time we have for this conversation tonight. I'm okay. uh, fairly confident it will continue on social media. I'm sure um, it will. Graham Linehan, thank you for that.